Shame. 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 Hello everyone, Abel in Vegas here. So for today's video, I have a couple of things that I want to show you guys. Um, I will show some pictures on the screen as I talk about it. But the other day, I was rummaging through some of my boxes. Um, and it was cool because I came um, across a couple different things. Uh, most, some old magazines that I have. Beckett's, um, ESPN Magazine, Sports Illustrated. So I thought it was pretty fun. Um, I showed some of the images uh, via, via my Twitter account. Um, so that was pretty fun. A couple of people liked them. Um, I wonder how much value some of these have. Um, but eventually I hope to keep some, display some, and maybe get rid of a few um, down the road. But some of the things that I came across, um, and I know that there's a documentary coming soon uh, for Big Mac and Sammy Sosa. So I have this cool little, this is a headliners. Um, I don't know if you could read that right there. Um, but it's a cool little Mark McGuire. Um, little like, it's not a bobblehead because the bobble, the head doesn't bobble. But it's just like a cool little statue of figurine. The helmet comes off, which I think it's pretty cool. Um, has the number 25 on there. Um, pretty neat. Um, so that's pretty cool. Put it on there. So I had that in my had that in my box. Um, so I figured I thought I'd show that to you guys. Pretty awesome. Then I also came across these Coke bottles. I can't remember whose videos I was watching mentioned about some um, bottle collecting. Um, I'm not sure if it was in particular to Coke or not. Uh, but these were given as part of the 1980. Um, let me see if I could. Oh, there you go. The 1980 Lake Placid Olympic Games. Um, these were pretty popular, if you guys know, uh, because the men hockey team beat um, the Russians. Um, I think I got that right, right? Um, but obviously, I don't have that bottle, so I'm sure those bottles cost a pretty penny. But these have uh, figure skating on them. So this one talks about figure skating. And then this other one talks about alpine skiing. So those are pretty cool. I have those. I like them. I, a friend gave them to me. So I thought that's pretty awesome. Can't wait to display those. Then something else that I came across. And I know you guys, I have some wrestling dudes that watch the channel. But I came across these NWO Nitro cards. Um, I tried to look some of these up. Um, but I didn't find much information, so um, probably not that bad. I didn't find many of these PSA graded. Here's a Goldberg. Kurt Hen Hennig. Randy Savage. But here's Goldberg versus DDP. But these are pretty cool. I think here, back here, there's a couple Hulk Hogan's, I think. Lodi, yep, here's Hulk Hogan, I think he was known as Hollywood Hogan in the NWO maybe, Scott Hall, then they also had a couple of the female wrestlers, so here's Storm, Fire, and Whisper, so anyway, that's pretty fun. I found those in the collection. Didn't know I have them, so thought that was pretty good. Then um, I also opened a box of Bowman. I did record the unboxing, but it took me like 30 minutes. Um, this came directly from Tops. It was the retail edition. Um, that was what I was able to get my hands on. So I just go through some of the cards that I was able to pull. Um, here's a talent pipeline of the um, Astros. A Helio Ramos Scouts card. 
Grayson Rodriguez, O'Neill Cruz, Evan White for the Mariners, Corbin Carroll. I think these look pretty nice. The Rookie of the Year favorites this year. So we have an Aaron Savali for the Indians. Jordan Yamamoto for the um, Marlins. And then a Sean Murphy for the Oakland Athletics. A couple of these Bowman Retro Christian Pache. And Sixto Sanchez. And then they have these cool inserts for the spanning the globe. And so they have a picture of where they're from with the flag. So this is a rookie card of Yu Chang. A Ronaldo Hernandez. Joe Adele. And then Jesus Lozardo. So that's pretty neat. Then we did get a Telem Pipeline of the Sox. So here's the Luis Robert, Andrew Vaughn, and Miker Adolfo. And then a Luciano for the top 100. Then I won't show you all of them, but I one of the cards that I really liked I did like the trout this in this uh, release. I really like how the white jersey fits well with just the card with the white borders. So I thought that was a neat card. I did get a couple of rookies. So I got a, Nico, a couple of Nikos. Here's a Lux. A Bo Bichette. Luis Robert. Aquino. Jordan Alvarez, got a couple of his. There's the other Robert, Aquino again, and Luzardo. So overall, I got all the top rookies, so that was pretty good. Um, then for the prospect cards, I did get a refractor uh, of Jared Kalenic. So it wasn't a first Bowman refractor, so it's just a prospect. I did get the Bowman throwback of Nico Honer with the rookie card logo. I think it's a nice card overall. Then the paper, we got a purple Nico, which is numbered the 99 out of 250. So it's a little bit of a white corner, but still a nice card. I think it'll be a nine. Maybe a nice a nine plus with SGC. Then for the prospect cards, we have paper of Julio, a paper of Wonder, and a paper of Bobby Witt. So unfortunately, I did not get any of the Jason um, Bowman cards. Now, the only question I have for this card is, is this card actually off-centered? So as you could tell, the square of the card, there's more white on this side than on this side. However, the way they did this picture the glove is sticking out of the card. So I don't know if, because if you move this a little bit more to the right, the ball would then be almost off the card if you were to center with the square. So after looking at this at a second time, I was wondering if this card is actually off-centered. So I wonder how that would grade. And then lastly, as you saw by my quick introduction, I did buy something from PWCC, a little shameful of me, but this was available through PWCC on auction. I've been wanting to pick up a couple of her silver uh, rookie cards, um, and with a few hours left, I was watching this just because it was Haley, and I was like, oh, it's PWCC, I probably don't want to get it. Um, but with a few hours left, it was only like at $17. So I said, you know what, I figured and give it a try. If I could get this card for under $40, I think that's a win. And it ended up, I ended up winning this auction through PWCC for $30. Uh, so with shipping, I ended up paying a total of $35. Um, unfortunately, 
And I don't know if this is the case with all her cards. So, but I did notice that this is now the second card that I get that has a dimple uh, on the card right in the same spot. So I wonder if that is something of where her cards were positioned on the sheet. If that is something that occurs routinely. So it makes me think that if I do see a 10 out there, it might be worth getting. So there you go. That was my pickups and rummage. So I will leave you with that. Thank you so much for watching. Some of my cards are available for purchase on Check Out My Cards. Follow my collecting adventure on Instagram and Twitter. Links are available in the description below. Support my YouTube journey by clicking on the subscribe button and turning on the notifications. Catch you on the next one.